how to set up multiple spawn points that you could choose. What's up everybody, this is Gunter Serverlo. Today I'm going to show you how to set up multiple respawn points that you can respawn at. Let's go to the editor, we're going to go to Tanoa, and we're going to go to this location. So we're going to choose a rifleman from the Blue Force side, that'll be our player. Next, we're going to go to markers, which would be F6 at the top right. And then we're going to scroll in. And we're going to just choose a flag marker, place it in front of the player. And I'm going to double click the marker. And at the top, under the variable name, we're going to type in respawn underscore west. And then we can give this a color if we want. We'll make it blue for the sake of uh, blue four. We're gonna go to attributes at the top left here and then down to multiplayer. Don't worry about the top here. Just go down to where it says respawn. We're gonna click this box and then go down to respawn custom position. Now, just a quick note here. You see the comment box that opened up it says respawn on position defined by the marker with a specific prefix in the name. When multiple ones are available, a random one is selected. So we'll be doing that. And then the respawn delay will make for three seconds. So remember this is respawn delay. This is hours, this is minutes, and this is seconds. So we're going to set up for three seconds. And uh, we're going to leave all the rest of this stuff for now. So we'll just hit OK. So the respawn is set up, and if we were to go into multiplayer, die, and then respawn, we would pretty much end up here. So let's test that a second to make sure that it works. So in order to respawn, we have to go to multiplayer. So what we're going to do is we're going to start up an MP LAN server. Our respawn marker is in front of us. You can only see it on the map. And if we get ourselves killed, we're going to do a manual respawn. I'm not going to use a grenade. So we're going to just respawn, and we'll end up at that marker. Here we are. So you can see my character is on top of the marker. And uh, there we are. So we know the respawn works. All right, let's go back to the editor. So just a note here, if you test and respawn, once you start up an MP LAN server and you haven't changed the map, if you look at the bottom right here, it says server and the name that you use for the server name. So as long as that's up, you can just keep going to the server to test your respawn setup. The tutorial here is how to set up multiple respawn points. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna copy this flag. So you just click it so it's highlighted or you could just draw a box around it so it's highlighted. And then what you're going to do is you're going to press Control C and we're going to press Control V. All right, just a note, if you open this up, it will say respawn west underscore one. Now, if I did a second one, just Control V, it'll say west two. So when I have multiple respawn points like this, what happens is I'm randomly going to be moved to either one of them when I respawn. So we're just going to have one here. We'll move one down on the other end and we'll move the other out in the grass here. Alright, so we'll save that and then we'll go to our server. Alright, so we're going to just going to respawn. And we respawned on the center marker. So if we respawn again, we might end up somewhere else. Now we'll keep ending up on the marker. Let's try that again. Here we are. So this time we ended up in the grass, and if we spawn again, let's see for the last time where we end up. Alright, this time we ended up on the other side. Alright, so let's go back to the editor. How do we 
set this up to where we could choose either one of these spawn points. For that, we need to create a description.ext. So let's go to the mission folder and I'll show you how to set this up. Okay, we're now in the mission folder. This is the mission SQM and this is a description.ext. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna start up a notepad document or a notepad++ document. And what you're gonna do is you're basically going to save this code that I, that I give you into the description.exe. So when you save the document, you're gonna name it description.ext. Don't misspell it. All right, so I've already opened it up and this is what we have. We have two codes and the first code is respawn templates, all one word with a space you have a left bracket, right bracket, with a space in between. Another space equals space, left bracket, in quotes, menu, position, one word, right bracket, and then a semicolon. Down to the next line, we have respawn on start equals zero, semicolon. All right, so, this is basically a respawn template, as you can kind of read. This is a menu position. This basically allows you to spawn at any spawn point that you have set up. For the next line, respawn on start. When you start the mission, if you have this set to zero, then you'll start the, the mission wherever your soldier is set up at. You won't see the respawn points that are available to spawn at until you die or until you respawn. If you set this to one, then what will happen is at the mission start, you will see the map and then you'll get the menu of what spawn points you want to choose. Just save this, put this into your mission folder as I have it here, and let's go back to the editor and I'll show you what this looks like. All right, now we're back in the game, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the MP LAN server that we have set up. Now this menu is not gonna show up until you respawn, until you're actually dead. So you're just gonna hit respawn, and from here, everything will go to the map, and basically, you'll have three respawn points that we created. So let's spawn ourselves into the grass here. And here we are. All right, so if we respawn again. We could choose this location. Here we are. All right, so let's go back to the editor. What we could do is with these flags, if you want to a flag to have like a description so let's say we'll make this the airfield so instead of seeing what we what we've seen which is is locational like in terms of when when you go to the respawn menu and you go to respawn you see the respawn points but it doesn't have a description and this is what this will do so we'll name this one the airfield then we'll put this spawn point let's put the respawn point right about here. Alright, so we'll spawn there. And then this other spawn point we'll put on the Bala airstrip. Right about in front of this building. Alright, so we're going to name this one Bala airstrip. And then we'll name this one Comms Alpha. Now if we wanted to make another one, control C, and then we could put another one somewhere else if we wanted to. Let's put it in the uh, down here in the mine. So we'll put one right here. And we'll name this one name this mine
And then let's make another one. Let's put one over here on the uh, airfield. Airstrip. I'll put this one right here. And this one is called St. George's Strip. Name this St. George Airstrip. And there we are. And uh, we'll save that. And we'll go to our server. Alright, so we'll hit respawn. And then we'll get our map. And you'll see now that we have multiple respawn points. So we have air fuel, just like we named it. Then we have the comms alpha. And then we have mine. We could just say mines. And then we have the St. George airstrip. Then we have the Bala airstrip. Now just, just a note, here's a little tip for you. Um, if you only want to just see the Bala airstrip and you don't want to see kind of like the background of the marker behind it, let's just respawn. And obviously it works. So if you don't want to, if you don't want to see the background, then just change the transparency. If when you're respawning, you look at the marker and it says airfield, you could just change this and just turn the transparency down to like nothing. So now you can't see the marker. Well, you'll know the marker is there because all the markers are right here. So you're not gonna lose it. But what will happen is, we'll do this, we'll save this and we'll go back to the server. And there you go. So what I did is I change the transparency of the marker so that you don't see the marker that's being used itself even though it's there because of the spawn point so now all you see is the airfield so you could do that so there you have it and this this is the difference notice you you can kind of see the name of the marker behind it and then in the left in the list here is all the spawn points that you created. And you can hit respawn and here we are. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.